Hi, Scott from Digital Fish with Content That Catches. I headed down to the mighty Coromandel Peninsula and met up with Matthew Hewitson from Fishing in God's Own magazine to go hunt down some yellowtail kingfish. We were teaming up with epic charters and as the day emerged we could tell it was going to be a cracker. The first mission was to collect live baits to catch the kingfish. We were joined by Tom, another epic charter skipper on his boat Mad Max 2. We couldn't locate any decent schools of mackerel out from Fitianga, so we headed to another bay to try our luck. We found some good sign and started targeting the mackerel with burly and bait flies. A pot of dolphins joined us, although they didn't crash our party fortunately, and after about 30-40 minutes of fishing, we had enough liveys to get out wide and start plunging the pinnacles for kingfish. Heading out past Great Mercury Island, it wasn't long before we had passed Kuvia and were looking at our first drop. Matt was in first, he was fishing with an accurate mutant reel and sinnet rod. These were designed for people who like to fish with the reel under the rod. Matt's fish came aboard and went back in good condition. Owen Wills, our skipper for the day, had a good take on his live bait and as I was watching him my mackerel started to get nervous and shortly after I hooked up. Owen's fish came up first, it was a hefty looking harpooka. I was hoping for a harpooka too, however it was pretty obvious it was another kingfish. We drifted a few times before heading to another reef, the live baits went down again and I hadn't hit the bottom before a good fish grabbed the mackerel and started heading for the reef. Owen was hooked up as well and we had to dance around a bit to avoid the lines crossing and breaking off. Matt hooked up as well and we eventually landed some keeping size kingfish. I gave the jigs a go, but it wasn't long before I was back on the live baits. Tom came out for a chat. He was hooking fish as well, although they were about the same size as our ones. Another mackerel and another take. This time it felt quite small. After a bit of winding, a tasty snapper popped up. There's lots of fish that like to eat mackerel. For much of the afternoon we dropped liveys, drifted over reefs and pulled up lots of kingfish. Later in the afternoon and Tom was heading home, but he had two live baits left which he gave to us to use. You can never have enough live baits when fishing on Epic. I lost a nice fish sadly, but it wasn't long before I hooked up again. We hadn't landed any horses, but even the little kingfish can be angry and scrappy and cause cramping after you've pulled a few up. I thought I'd be smart and re-rig en route to another reef, but PR knots and bouncing boats don't really mix. I was in again on the second drift, but this fish let go. The bigger fish just weren't sticking today. Another undersized fish came aboard. Kingfish don't give up all the way home. All the fish were in great condition and were picking the live baits over the lures. Live baits are certainly easy to fish over the whole day. The day was getting long and Ian wanted to show us a cave on the way home so we headed for land and a fly with the splash drone. We were cruising along near Apito Bay when something big disturbed the water and we saw something rather spectacular.
the humpback eventually cruised into the sunset, we made one last stop, a narrow corridor of cave I would have named the paint scraper. Pretty cool natural formation. Coromandel was full of surprises today for us. That was our day. A truly epic trip with epic charters. This is Scott from Digital Fish with content that catches.